Immediately, that little snass hole made a beeline to my mom's cat to go punch it. Me and Douglas on our hot girl walk, rain or shine, before going into the office. Welcome to the office. Okay, before we get on with the activities that I have to do today in the office, let's have some breakfast because I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. I don't know, I'm like a gremlin. Honestly, it's like if I eat too early, I feel sick. If I eat too late, I feel sick. Gotta be like the perfect time. I'm just having some overnight oats. I also meant to grab my box of blueberries, um, but I forgot to do that. <sighs> I also forgot to grab my Green Chef leftovers for lunch. Mm. This is literally on fire. Why is this so steamy right now? By the way, I do want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Green Chef. Believe me, I know that as we head deeper into the fall and the sun goes down earlier, just how easy it is to zap the momentum out of following healthy routines. And that's why I'm happy that I use Green Chef. It takes a lot of excuses away and makes it easy to eat at home when you have delicious chef curated recipes delivered to your doorstep featuring farm fresh produce and organic sustainably sourced ingredients. They're a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean no matter your lifestyle. And they now have 30 different options to choose from every single week that keeps eating well exciting. Plus, they allow you to mix and match meal preference categories to suit everyone's needs in your household, whether they eat keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, or gluten-free. So if you're interested to try out Green Chef for yourself, you can go to greenchef.com and use code Beatrice135 to get $135 off across five boxes, plus free shipping on your first box. Thanks again, Green Chef, for sponsoring this video. Green Chef, we stand. You're probably wondering why I'm in a camper and nowhere near the wilderness. I was talking to my therapist and I don't really want to be one of those people that it's like my therapist said, but like literally that's like my only form of social interaction these days. <laughs> so I was talking to her <laughs> and she suggested maybe getting an office space so I can go and do my work and kind of get some separation from my mom. If you don't know, I've been struggling with some panic recently I and mean, it has been getting better, but because my house is 45 minutes away, it kind of the distance and the codependency I have on my mom right now makes it a little bit hard to like stay up there without like overwhelming myself and panicking. So my therapist suggested renting an office space and she said like there are some pretty cheap ones for like $250 a month. And I was like, damn, that is pretty cheap. However, when I looked into it, they want you to sign like a 12 month lease. And the office spaces that were $250 a month were at an abandoned medical hospital. Like there was literally still like the curtain divider things like up in the areas and I was like <laughs> no no uh, we want to use a place that I would actually feel comfortable being alone in and working in and not somewhere that's scary as hell so we came up with the idea of moving my mom's camper to the house that I'm renovating so it's like far enough away. The contractor was nice enough to like rig up a special plug-in for the camper on short notice like within a day. Shout out to Curtis. He also finished the plumbing in the house, so there is a bathroom that I can use inside the house now. There's no hot water, but we're roughing it. We're camping, girl. There's a bed. I took a nap in here the other day. Douglas can be in here. He's just running around being a free queen. 
All around the yard? He's staring at me right now, hold on. <laughs> You're such a little creep. But I can essentially have a whole little apartment in here. I could maybe even do cooking videos in here. I don't know. I actually don't know how good that oven is. I'm a little bit scared to like turn on the like stove or oven or anything, but like it's a whole situation and it looks fancy. I have all my plants in here now. I bought some new plants because they were on clearance. It's gonna be like a jungle. I ordered like a million crystals off of Amazon and I don't mean crystals like the healing ones. I mean like the ones that are like sun catchers that you hang in the window and it throws prisms all around the room. I am excited for that. When the sun is shining, this place is gonna be like a disco ball. My whole plan for today is just like clean up the area and make it actually usable, organize it a little bit better, and maybe edit for a little bit because I was planning on staying here most of the day waiting for a bathtub delivery to come, but when I arrived, the bathtub was already on the porch. So I'm gonna have to figure out how heavy that is to move to get it like in the house. It's not too heavy. Oh, it's lucky. It's another day, obviously. First of all, I did weigh in this morning, so let's go ahead and get into that right now. Last time I weighed 229 point something, and today I stepped on the scale and I weighed 228 point something. I think I lost about a pound. I have to double check those decimals and see where they line up, but regardless, the scale went down. I didn't mention it last time because I was kind of like holding my breath. If you have been following this channel for a while and my weight loss, you know that 230 is a point of resistance for me. Like I was stuck at 230 for weeks and weeks and weeks. So when I hit 229, I was like, don't say anything, don't look at it, don't do nothing. Don't acknowledge the elephant in the room that we've passed this 230 threshold. But now here we are at 228 point something and we are still not out of the red zone. You know, that mofo can fluctuate back up, but we're a little bit more comfortable now. But regardless, yay. Yesterday, admittedly, like when the weather is gloomy like that, I feel like I have no energy. Today, it's nice and sunshiny and I'm like, woo, ready for life. But yesterday, it was really hard to get going on anything. I did clean up the camper. I did sit there and pick a flooring sample. It took me several hours because I had collected a plethora of different flooring samples from various places. I get decision fatigue really quickly. And it was also really overwhelmed because I was like, the cabinets are wood. The floor is going to be wood. Do I match wood? Do I not match it? What do I do? I ended up kind of matching it. I'll, I'll just show you the sample. Anyways, that took an embarrassingly long time and I got my crystals in. So I went back to my mom's house, swooped up my crystals and spent the rest of the evening making like little things to suction cup on the windows. So you didn't miss much. But right now we're gonna head to the grocery store and I'm gonna pick up some things for the camper so I have some things on hand for healthy lunches. Let's go get some supplies.
So I recently came to the realization a couple of days ago that I am not going to be moving back to my house that's in another town. I'm probably just gonna rent that house to the people who are already moved in there, already living there, because <laughs> that just makes sense. Douglas. But I'd left Chetty up there thinking that, you know, I was just gonna be gone another week, another couple of days. But in reality, it's been months. And then I think I finally just accepted that this is going to take longer to get through than I initially thought. And it's going to take longer than I'd even like it to. Because <laughs> uh, if I had it my way, I would have just a weekend jaunt of panic and then, you know, back to business. But yeah, it's just taking longer. But at first I felt like this sense of relief from having finally made a decision rather than just kind of constantly trying to push myself to go back up there and feeling disappointed when I failed. You know, I just wasn't ready yet. And I started getting more excited about renovating this house because it was the one that I was gonna live in rather than just wanting that project to be over. But like the very next day, I was at Target and I was returning this god awful decision I made of a mini skirt that's made out of sweater material that made me look like LSP from Adventure Time. Just lumpy space princess. But I was standing in line waiting to return my stuff when I saw someone that I used to go to high school with. Now, mind you, this guy was just like in the peripheral. Like I didn't really talk to him much. I knew who he was because he was in my grade, but neutral, right? Like I felt like no type of way in high school about this person. But when I tell you that the sight of his mug bothered me so much, like I was distraught. I was depressed the rest of the day and I was like, why is this random person affecting me so much? And I sat there and I tried to figure it out. And basically I came to the conclusion that it kind of took me back to how I felt in high school about this town having nothing to offer me, just like wanting to get out, wanting to do other things, wanting to be somewhere where I was accepted and I didn't feel so shy and like just all of this stuff. It took me back to that and I was having a bit of a pity party honestly because this is not where I thought that I would be at this point in my life. I just felt like all of a sudden I had taken this major step backwards because my brain decided to break and have random panic spells when there's no logical reason to panic and I'm mad about it. I'm pissed because I was right there. Like I was hanging out with friends again, I was starting to date and then boom, back to solitude. It's like the universe was just like socializing is not for you. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. I'm going to move back here into this house. I'm not quite as upset about it as I was a couple of days ago. And that's the good thing about emotions. They're fluid, they're constantly changing. The reality is I can't change things as quickly as I would like to. So I'm gonna try to embrace the process and you know, grow, learn some stuff along the way, try to not hate it here as much <laughs> as I did when I was in high school. But anyways, what I meant to be saying before I got completely off the rails, off topic, that Chetty is now at my grandma's. When I realized that I wasn't going to move back up there, I went and I got him. He was due for shots anyway. So I had to take him to the car to the vet and I was like, okay, well, I'll just take him back to my mom's house with me. Immediately, that little snass hole made a beeline to my mom's cat to go punch it. And so we realized that that was not gonna work out. Chetty is an old only child. He doesn't count Doug as a child. He just counts Doug as like furniture. So he's gonna be staying with my grandparents for a couple of months until this house is habitable. But I may not get him back because my grandparents love him. They're already spoiling him. He's their little baby child. My grandma calls to tell me the tea of all of the things that Chetty has done that day. And it's good because he's close and I can go over there and like pet him or whatever. But after like the first day of dropping him off, he's like not interested in me because he's getting all of the affection from the elder. Elderly. I think I gave you the trouble. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Get it, get it, get it! Chetty! Look at him. So that's a little bit of an update. Let's use the office what its intended purpose is for and get some work done and maybe make a salad.
if my eyes look bloodshot and like I've been staring at a screen for like the past three hours, that's because I have. I'm back at my mom's house and I need to move my body just like a little bit. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do some yoga and then wind down. This is like Britney Spears Instagram angle. <laughs> um, but I'm sweaty. Adrian kicked my butt. I think I'll end the vlog here. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. But other than that, I just hope you're having a wonderful day. I will see you on the next one. Bye!